First reading A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 9 to 13 You recall brothers and sisters our toil and drudgery working night and day in order not to burden any of you We proclaimed to you the gospel of God you are witnesses and so is God how devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behaved towards you believers as you know we treated each one of you as a father treats his children exhorting and encouraging you and insisting that you walk in a manner worthy of the god who calls you into his kingdom and glory and for this reason we to give thanks to god unceasingly that in receiving the word of god from hearing us you received it not as the word of men but as it truly is the word of god which is now at work in you who believe the word of the lord a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew jesus said what do you scribes and pharisees you hypocrites You are like whitewashed tombs which appear beautiful on the outside but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of filth even so on the outside you appear righteous but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing woe to you scribes and pharisees you hypocrites you build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous and you say if we had lived in the days of our ancestors we would not have joined them in shedding the prophets blood thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets now fill up what your ancestors measured out the gospel of the lord My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ the Pharisees and the teachers of the law they were worried about the external observance of the mosaic law and they paid their attention for every external observance of the mosaic law and at the same time dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ they encourage people to follow these external rules and regulations while observing the mosaic law yet for all they did not pay attention for the internal spirit of the mosaic law therefore they failed to discover the real spirit of the mosaic law they observed mosaic law externally but internally within their them, within themselves they experience kind of a spiritual emptiness and poverty my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ that is why in today's gospel jesus compares them to white wash tombs externally these tombs they appear very nicely to the people but inside there are dead bones as well as there are there is kind of uncleanness inside these tombs my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ not only pharisees and the teachers of the law but even the ordinary people they experience kind of a spiritual emptiness within themselves since they too paid more attention for the external observance of the mosaic law be in ordinary men and women they were not in a state to follow this follow this mosaic law externally therefore they were upset within themselves and in a way they got discouraged since they were unable to observe this mosaic law externally my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ therefore we see that 
not only the religious authority of the Jewish society experience kind of a spiritual poverty within themselves, but even the people who were led by this religious authority, they too experience kind of a spiritual emptiness within themselves since they paid attention only for the external observance of the Mosaic law. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, same thing can happen to us if we are going to follow Decalogue as well as church laws only by paying attention to the external observance of them. We must discover the real spirit of these laws by paying attention to the internal perspective of these laws. True enough that we must follow them externally, but at the same time what is more important is the internal aspect of these laws internal aspect of the Decalogue and the internal aspect of the church law. Therefore, today Jesus invites all of us to pay more attention for this internal aspect of the law so that we may discover the true spirit of the law and we may never get discouraged like those ordinary men and women of Jesus' time who are unable to observe Mosaic law externally. But if we pay attention for the internal aspect, we will be happy. We will be happy because we have discovered the true spirit of the law. Amen.